I am an employee and have been dealing with hypertension for 20 years. I got married in 1995. I have high cholesterol and heart problems. My heart muscle is weak and I suffer from gout. I experience venous leakage, relaxation during intercourse, and premature ejaculation. I visited doctors who prescribed treatment. I underwent examinations here and there. When I went to the hospital, they advised me to do some x-rays and tests. The x-rays revealed venous leakage, but the tests showed nothing. I started looking into the treatment for venous leakage online. I also consulted a pharmacist who recommended Dr. Osama Gattas. That's who you should see, forget about all. Honestly, when I went to see him, I found the treatment to be good and rapid in time. He said, this is a simple matter. You just need penile implant procedure. I went ahead with it and praise be to God, it went well. I met the doctor and I explained to him that I had taken many medications and this issue had been present for a long time since the beginning of my marriage. My friend suggested taking pills or a pharmacist give me a one. As for medical treatments, when I realized the problem, I went to a doctor who prescribed medications for months, but there was no improvement. There was no effective treatment. The only radical solution, as I knew after trying many medications, was the penile implant procedure. I heard about it abroad and consulted doctors there. They confirmed that implant procedure could be done. In Egypt, I also found doctors who suggested the same. They assured me that it's a straightforward procedure that can be done in a day. I was well aware of it and researched online, understanding that it's a simple operation and patients are discharged on the same day. They go back to work the next day, meaning there are no issues with it, of course. Anyone entering the operating room might feel a bit anxious, but I was reassured that the procedure is simple and not one of those intense operations that one fears. He explained to me the steps, the types of stents, and assured me that there are two good types. I went to the hospital and got admitted at 7 a.m. for the 12 p.m. procedure. I was awake from the procedure. I entered the hospital at 7, but the surgery started around 10.30 or 11, something like that, and it finished around 12 in the afternoon. By 12.30 or 1, I was in the recovery room. The anesthesia during the procedure was partial. I could hear and feel everything, but I couldn't see, of course. Everyone was good and respectful, and the entire team reassured me, no need to worry. They checked my blood pressure regularly, and the care was excellent. The duration of the procedure was around one to one and a half hours, and the follow-up period after the surgery was also monitored by Dr. Raymond. After the surgery, I followed up with dressing changes around three, four days post-operation. Every week, the doctor instructed me to change the dressing until the wound healed with betadine and warm water at home. Betadine and antibiotics were used until the wound closed, thanks to God. Post-operation, the duration of intercourse increased, leading to delayed ejaculation. Before the procedure, there was premature ejaculation, but after the operation, there was a delay. Concerned, I contacted the doctor, who reassured me and advised resuming normal activities the next morning. My sexual health improved, and I developed a desire for intercourse every day. However, due to household circumstances, it happens every three days or a week. Sexual desire has significantly increased and I haven't experienced any negative aspects. The respectful and responsive treatment provided reassurance. I could contact them any time and if I couldn't handle something, they instructed me to visit the clinic. My wife noticed positive changes and my family, unaware of the issues, felt no disturbances. I have two married daughters and one son, age 19, who were not affected by my issues. I've transformed psychologically and feel much more relaxed than before. The initial stress and problems related to premature ejaculation and relaxation are gone and I am grateful. When advising patients, I tell them there's only one solution, the penile implant. I advise against taking various medications as it may cause stomach issues. The implant is the only and root solution for sexual weakness or venous leakage, a good and unique solution in my opinion. 